my name is Brian Rayburn from Fire Trucks Unlimited and I'm excited to tell you about this Pierce Dash refurbishment we did for the Whatcom County Fire District up in Washington State. Let's take a look. This truck right here is the first of three we did for the Whatcom County Fire District. As you can see, it's on a Pierce chassis and we did much more than just putting lipstick on a pig. Let me show you what we did. The cab has been completely redone. We've got new Bostrom seats. We completely reupholstered all the panels. We actually repainted the entire inside of the cab with a nice gray Zolotone paint. We've got new instrumentation. We put a new Firecom communication system and a lot more. Let me show you around the back. We've upgraded safety features by putting in these new knurled grab rails. All the seat belts are now NFPA compliant, red colored seat belts. We put in new IMMI SCBA holders for, uh, so their guys can get in and out of the truck real quick. Um, as you can see, we also fabricated an EMS comp compartment for them. That's not something that existed on the truck prior to uh, taking on this project. This project is really unique. The customer loved the truck during its first life, but had some changes in their communities and they wanted to model their uh, refurbishment project around what they were buying new. So this was a supplement to what they were already doing. So what they needed for their community now is a short wheelbase truck. So they asked us and then we said, okay, we'll do it. We actually made this truck approximately two feet shorter than it was when it came in here. So what we actually did was we removed the engineer's compartment, which normally would sit here, and we moved the rear axle forward, uh, of course, um, cut off the back of the frame so they could achieve that short wheelbase that they were wanting to, to have uh, for their operation. Coming here through the pump area, we have uh, a completely rebuilt pump, new impeller assembly, went through the gearbox, all the valves have been rebuilt, put a new foam pro foam system on, a new controller. This pump panel was completely redone and coated in a uh, uh, vortex coating. We've got a new electric valve for their tank to pump and a lot of other things. All new gauges, water level, pressure. We put in a new uh, Trident air primer for them. Um, so a lot of work goes in behind this pump panel. It's not just all on the surface. There's a lot of stuff that happened on the back end. I'm excited we have the cab up here so I can show you what we actually did inside the pump house. You know, of course it's a uh, pretty tight pump house, but we worked within those parameters. We actually gave them a new LED, LDH uh, discharge with an electric valve. We were able to accomplish that. We put in a, a, a new foam pro foam system. There was limited space here, but we found new space up in the dunnage area to give them that need that they had. So there's not really much that a customer can ask that will say, no, we can't do that. Um, we'll always give you that option and uh, explore it at least once. Coming through to the body, uh, customer asks for a lot of different things too. So you, uh, you can see on here, we, uh, the truck no longer has a generator. It's just a couple inverters to power some of their outlets. We also installed a brand new Wilbert light tower with LED fixtures, uh, which is controlled from here remotely. That's mounted up on the roof. You can also see we did this uh, splatter coating inside the compartments, which is a, just a nice way to make you know, the truck look and feel new for all the guys, the operators, they can feel like they've got a brand new truck, but then have the confidence that everything underneath that we did is brand new up to NFPA spec uh, and gonna give the truck a good second life, so. Coming back here, they asked, hey, can we add some SCBA bottle storage? So these two fender compartments, there's one on the other side as well, space for three bottles. That was fabricated after the fact, wasn't part of the original truck. Moving on up here, you know, you're over the, over the, over the wheel compartment. All the lighting was upgraded to uh, Whalen LED M series. So they've got a really nice uh, high performing light package, aluminum wheels. We've also got some uh, LED Pioneer scene lights up on the cab roof. We've got LED water level gauges on the, the sides of the cab. So they asked for it, we gave it to them. And there's not much we'll say no to. 
Beyond that, we actually, uh, and we're gonna get to this in the back of the truck, but we actually extended this body by about two feet. So even though we shortened the truck, shortened the wheelbase, we actually still maintain their compartmentation they want and reconfigured some of the rear of the truck for uh, a, a nice low hose bed, and we're gonna show you that in a second. So back here, this rear of this truck, you'll be able to see what this truck looked like before configured uh, before we did this refurbishment process, process. But in reality, this was a, a traditional step back type uh, truck and we've made it a flat back with a low hose bed. So we actually replaced the water tank to an L size so they could achieve a low hose bed access for their firefighters so they can access their hose from the ground safety first. Everything we do, we upgrade safety, we upgrade technology, of course there's the cosmetic things, and then everything mechanical underneath. You're getting a brand new truck. So, continuing on the back here, we also changed their pre-connects. They were doing pre-connects from the, the hose bed and the rear of the truck instead of uh, cross lay, so that, we made that happen for them. All this was fabricated out by our folks. Right here, this truck actually used to have a hydraulic ladder rack. We built them a tunnel for their ladders to keep them out of the elements and, uh, you know, easy access as well. So, once again, there isn't many requests that we'll say no to, at least on the first time. And then I'm really excited to show you this. This is a really neat idea presented to us by the customer. It's a quick release hose bed uh, retainer release so we can get to that hose bed quickly. So all you do is you got these two straps, you pull on it, flips down, and your hose bed's down real quick, or your hose bed cover is down real quick. And you can see what we've done with the uh, actual hose bed. We've lowered it, we've got, uh, you know, speed lays out here off the back, there's some pre-connects up top. Really nice uh, configuration for their application and it matches their new truck. So they're very excited, they're very happy to be able to put it into service. Coming around, of course, LED uh, emergency lights and, and work lights back here as well. That's pretty much a standard on every refurbishment we do. You know, here's an added compartment. So this was part of that extension. Of course, the truck was repainted, new striping, all the highest quality 3M, longest lasting material. Our paint is second to none. It's very good. More SCBA storage. And as we come around here, we've got some uh, high-tech scene lighting on the side of the truck. We provided a new uh, piston intake valve. This is where their uh, generator used to be. Now we've actually housed the foam system that we installed. All right, I'm really excited to tell you about all the mechanical work we do underneath the truck. Of course, we take great pride in making the trucks look fantastic, updating them, updating all the safety and technology, but really, ultimately, it's a piece of emergency equipment. This is the tool that you need to make sure you can do your job. So the mechanical is as, if not more important than all the other things we do to the truck. So as you can see, this is a completely rebuilt Detroit Diesel Series 60 motor. This is one of the best motors ever built for fire engines. Uh, beyond that, record radiators, new hoses, new lines, new wiring harnesses, new rebuilt cylinders, brakes, suspension. We redo the insulation for better uh, sound control and uh, temperature control inside the cab. So really, the powerhouse of the truck is getting a, a second life from underneath. Same thing with transmissions, pump gearboxes, pumps everything that makes the truck work. It's critical that we do that. And then even things like, you know, your hose for your front discharge, that's new. We've, we paint the frames, we paint the plumbing. Let me... All right, coming around the front of the truck, as you can see, we've redone the front bumper, uh, rebuilt it. We put in a recessed light here um, to match their new trucks. We've got uh, black vortex coating, on not only the bumper, but your, your tow eyes. Um, we've got FireTech LED headlights, Wayland Emergency and, and Brow Light on the front. Uh, I'm really excited the way the project turned out. I think they're gonna be very happy with it. So if you want to learn about 
uh, doubling the service life of your vehicles for less than half of the cost of buying an equivalent new, then please send us a message and we'll chat about it.